it out, it's Rosie the MC, Kino's Bazooka, the Pop Kuluva, the Durban edition of Off the Hook. You know, it's been a minute, but it happened though. So we're out here, you know. I let the man introduce himself. Oh well, 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 what's up my G? What's up everybody? So let's do Mike the Mike in the end of God, but you can call me a dopeness. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know how it is. We out here. Uh, sure yo, man, it's nice. Thank you for coming through oh, and, yeah, and laying you. it down, you know. Sure um, can you please, like, tell me, like, how did your day start off today? <laughs> and what, how did it proceed uh, yo, to get here? Uh, today, uh, actually, it was a, it was a pretty, it was a pretty um, normal, standard day. I woke up, I was at Silo's. I was at my friend Silo because we went to the beach fest last mm -hmm. night. Um, and then we slept very late. So if I go... Sometimes very late because I stay in Chesterville. Sometimes I'm gonna stay at a place um, at a friend's place in town just sure. to make my own travels easy and stuff like that. So I woke up there uh, this morning, had some, you know, a little bit of breakfast, had a joint, had another joint. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then um, I think I'm, I I I made my way here because I didn't do anything else besides I guess maybe going on social media, That's posting, dope. checking how the album is doing, you know. That's dope. That's yeah. dope. Speaking of your Chesterville, you're a Chesterville native, right? Uh, yeah. That's your hood, born and bred there. Yeah. Uh, can you just tell us, like, for someone who doesn't know Chesterville, um, uh, how did Chesterville raise you? Like, how did it influence you to be who you are That's today? Right. Yo, man, uh, if it's uh, Chesterville, for me, okay, that's, we moved there, first of all, with my family. Um, from Mlaz. Mlaz, okay, yeah, sure. I was born, well, that's where I was born, are you? But I was very young, so I don't even remember what the house looked like or mm. anything like that. Because what happened was, um, it was like, I think probably 92 or something, during some political like turmoil going yes, on in yeah. this country. IFP, ANC yeah, yeah, yeah. had that beef going on. So um, a lot of families were victims, like weren't even in the politi into politics. In politics and stuff. So my family sure. was one of those families. So the house was burnt down and shit. And then we had to move to Chesterville. Um, luckily, we had roots in Chesterville. Like that's where my grandpa was from. That's where, like, a whole lot of the people from home anyway were from. So when we got there, it was immediately home. And then, yeah, man, I, I guess like I learned um, how to be, you know, how to see real friends. Mm. I guess, from, yeah, from, from the hood. Because <laughs> like, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's niggas expose themselves easy. Yeah, yeah. it teaches mm. you how to see real friends. Like, um, and also just. The whole sharing thing. I think the hood teaches you how to share, bro. Like yeah, every hood. It's, yeah, it's a we live we live very much close knit. As much as there there may be beef and all of that stuff, but the way things have like in the hood, bro. If if I woke if I woke up today and I didn't have weed, and I wanted weed, I was still gonna smoke mm. because there's a guy next door or a guy down the road. Oh, no, you're not it, 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 exactly. He's got it. It's about three of them sitting there all smoking together mm. probably the whole day. There's just sharing with, with, we share sugar, we share things like you don't have an onion you want to cook. You know yeah. what I mean? You can go to the neighbor and get an onion. So I think that's one of the things that I love most about growing up from there. And I, I don't think it's exclusively Chesterville probably. I, mm. it's, it's probably a hood thing everywhere. Yeah, you know? do about yeah, my yeah. Do. Yeah. even though we have our little issues, but you yeah. get to the point but that's where you the, can help yeah, each other, yeah. The greeting, like greeting people on a, on a normal daily Even basis. Even salt, just run out of salt, right, next out door. salt you can get it next thing. door. Right. So hip-hop, how did, how, how was hip-hop hip get in, 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 yeah, at Chesterville, the influence, I know obviously there's also mainstream TV, sure, sure, but sure. also at that time, because I'd assume there was a lot of quiet or and hip-hop, and how was it, how, how was the hood influenced by those genres? Yeah, oh, right. for me, um, obviously mainstream, you know, TV, radio, that's the first um, place you, you, you hear it from. For me, it was my uncle used to love hip hop as well, but he wasn't like into it, just it like like I am. Mm. But he actually loved hip hop. He used to play like get Grammy. Um, there was the Grammy hip hop compilation, get things like that. Mm. He used to have like heavy D and soul for real back in the day, you know. So I started hearing it from him. And then my brother was into it, but uh, but they had a Guaito crew as well, so they were doing both, like they were doing Guaito and, and they were rapping as well. Mm. I didn't like their Guaito shit, <laughs> yeah. but when they were rapping, I was like, okay, this is cool, what you is? know? So then I I started rapping as well, um, following them, but then I just ran with it. I met uh, people like Mike G. Yeah. Um, oh, Mike G, sure, 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 sure. Yeah, because he's from G. Chester. Like, that's one of the first people I met, like, in hip-hop, you know yes. I mean? Besides my friend, Candice Major, and all that, because we yes. were all the same age, but we actually were lucky enough to have older guys 
who had been rapping, like who'd been no hip hop, because I got mm -hmm. most of my hip hop from them. There was him and a guy called Buddha Bless. Mm -hmm. Like, dog, uh, my first MP3s, all of those things, where I got it from those dudes. So they're the ones who actually kind of groomed the hip hop in me, you know what I mean? Yeah. We used to freestyle with them and stuff. From when we barely knew how to freestyle to a point where we actually knew how to freestyle back yeah. then, you know? That's so, yeah. lovely. I mean, I know there was an era, a time when, when I was still in Durban, when you were, when you were crumping catch. Yeah, you know? yeah. Uh, <laughs> in the time of Run Durban. Yeah, yeah. I think we did a thing with you at... Um, Sprite, it? those are Sprite. Yeah, Sprite thing, yeah, yeah. you're doing some animation. Said yes, this, yes. You came with Flex at your, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> we even, uh, there was a trip where it was going to, uh, what, Cape Joburg and Cape Town. Yeah. But also there was, yeah, they were, 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 were around the scene at that point. Yeah, the Crump era, yeah. So how did, um, like, how did you get it influenced into getting into dance and crumping specifically? Because yeah. I know it was big that time in Durban. Cats huge. don't know how big yeah, it, it was. <laughs> It was huge. Um, for me, and anything that was hip hop, I liked it. You know what I mean? I used to play basketball. Mm. I did all of those things. Even break dancing. Before Crump was a thing, like we started off trying to break dance. And then Crump just came into the scene. And we were yeah, just like, yo, what is this? Wave. Yeah, dog. And we, and we got into the wave. And then, because we had, like, I always had this nerdy obsession with things. Like, if I'm doing something, I always want to know. Like the technicalities yeah. of it, so to that's what we did. It, to yeah, be good to be it, really to good to understand it. So that's what we did with Crump. And Crump was, I mean, Tadas was very big on that. Like you know, having creating Crump into something that is that people can study and shit like that. So for us, that was great. Mm. Had all these videos, and then we started doing Sunday sessions, like because uh, we were doing it out of church, bro. And we used to invite dudes to the church. We started teaching a whole lot of people in the city how to dance and stuff, how to Crump properly and all that. Like it, it, it. For us, it was a way of, we just wanted to see better people dancing, but then it made us the guys, like, you know what I'm mm. saying at the time, because that was after Genesis, because Genesis were the guys who were running things for yeah. a while, and then at some point there was a crew called Encore, there was Buck Kingdom, and then there was us, uh, Kingdom Radical, so yes, we, were, yes, we were all like, because <clears throat> we started just sharing the information, because the guys before us weren't sharing information. Mm. Like they were the stars. They were cock blocking it. Yeah, yeah, oh, right. <laughs> they were gatekeeping it so hard. For us, we were just like, man, we good at this. So let's tell so everybody else feel, how to be you good. Don't feel yeah. like intimidated you don't feel, by yeah. <laughs> a new kid who's gonna come and show yeah. me flames. Yeah. yeah, I think also Crump added a lot to my performance right now in rap, like, cause Crump was so, like, it was as much as you had a crew, you had to go there by yourself. Mm. Everybody in the crew, so the crew was only as strong as their weakest link. Like, yeah. if you lose a battle, then our crew has a loss. Yeah. If five of us won, you're the only guy who lost. You know, it's we were gonna loss. go there with yeah. the ten nil you gave us. Sure, sure. <laughs> you know facts. what I mean? So, like, it taught us how to play like character and things like because used to like as much as it was a physical dance, the face played a lot of work there. Sometimes mm. you just stand there, do some because of the track. You have a facial expression and the people are going crazy and somebody who doesn't understand what's going on is like Where's that? Dude? Where's that little <laughs> teller? Why are the people going <laughs> crazy? They just stood there and did a face. But mm. you know what I mean? So it like it added a lot to my to my to my performance now. I think that and the poetry as well. Yes, um at DT because we used to go to DT sessions as well. Like I was doing that around the same time, the crump and the poetry, all of it was yeah. simultaneous. To a point where I think about around 2013, I was like, okay, cool. Now I just want to focus on the rap. And on then, the rap, on the yeah. rap. So, with do you think in future, in the future, going up, you obviously I doubt you just always leave it up to rap because mm. even poetry, yeah, that, you know, a, you, are you still gonna like uh, partake in those or you're just gonna be like, nah, man, I'm gonna stick into this one <laughs> lane and one I'm lane. with it. Nah, more more musical than poetry, I guess, because um, I can sing as well. And I also play guitar. The, in the music, there's the poetry. There's the poetry so as well in the music. Just yeah. infused it and the dance, I and guess. The, yeah. It's all making a. Yeah, the like dance, a, I'll have someone else doing the dance. Oh. <laughs> not me, do you think, no, do you no, think, because nah, nah. of the hip hop thing, do you think like hip hop looks down upon dance? I mean, I know they say I don't, don't have stepping and stuff. Yeah, but I don't think so. I, well, I think. Crap, I mean, if you're rapping and maybe you're doing the video, requires you to. You know what to happened? Be, you know what happened with Crump in this city? I'll tell you that at some point um, in hip hop, there was that divide, especially, you know, d during the last days of Life Check, mm. where you'd have Battle of the Year. Yeah, and the, yeah, the, there was that Battle of the Year where the battle raps happened, the ba everything was happening. But once the Crump final happened, 
then the crowd just moved it's out of the room. Just, yes. And then all the everybody that was into rap okay. yeah. became, became so mad at Crump at that time. <laughs> like, no, bro, these guys are taking the crowd yeah. away. Because they had the numbers. The numbers were there, right? Yeah, they had the numbers at the time, dog. So I don't know. I think there is that. Sometimes um, rappers will look down and dance. But for me, it's not even that. Like, because yeah. I was dancing as well. It wasn't even a matter of looking down on it. I just when I was dancing, I was dancing hard. Yeah. So now that I can't do it that hard, like I can't practice as yeah, much as yeah, I used yeah, to, it, yeah. I'd rather not do it at all. Like I don't like, I don't you like half-assing anything. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So yeah, absolutely. so that's that's the only reason why the dance won't be there. But with the music and stuff, I mean, we still produce and stuff. So yeah, I still play guitar sometimes. I still get to practice all of that shit. So with that, definitely, like I, 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 I've always been hoping to either do a one-man show with either just playing piano and, and rapping and singing, or guitar and rapping and singing. Oh Absolutely. yeah, for sure. So, uh, what just to ask away from the the other Durban related stuff, like what is your like your top te- like your top movie, you know, hip hop movie to, uh, specific? Um, yeah. Oh, it doesn't have to be hip hop. Yeah. A okay. No. Is, when they say top hip hop movie. Yeah. Um. Eight Mile. Yeah. Definitely up there, bro. It was did huge things for battle culture, and I was into that shit back in the day. Yeah, so. and it told people about ciphering. Ciphering, know, yeah. It actually, yo, it actually was a very good movie for the culture. I think that one, um, the Get Rich or Die Trying. Yeah, Fifty really put in work in there. I enjoyed that movie. That movie made me enjoy the soundtrack. I think I heard some of the songs before the movie came out. I didn't like them, but after I like, but after I watched the movie, They're like, I was like, hey, this shit slaps. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, I think I'll get rich with that trying. Yo, I the other ones I've never watched them. I get bodied. Yeah. You got served doesn't count as a hip hop movie. I think it yeah, does. It does. It does. Because it's hip hop dancing. Board. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's definitely. Good. You got. Actually, I put you got served before bodied. Mm. Um. Yeah. Eight Mile. Get rich with that trying. You got served. Bodied. Stomp the yard. All right, all right, that's lovely. Yeah. Can you? We know you just dropped a, a new project, you know, yes, out sir. in the streets, and there's a couple of videos that have dropped. You've dropped yes, Eteguini, you've dropped uh, uh, Kezulu just yeah. recently. Actually, when was it? Friday, right? Friday, yeah, yeah, yeah Friday. Uh, can you just let give a people insight of the project uh, and and like how it came about? Sure, sure. Oh man, uh, first of all, we work on the project for like I think close to six years. No. Like, that's how long it took us. Um, but it took us that long, not, not because, like, we had too many, we had a lot of songs. So basically mm. what, like, my process is, I'll go to studio, especially if I'm alone in studio, I'll either make a beat and, and write a song to it and then leave it there, go to the next thing. Mm. So, like, I would eventually make probably, like, maybe sometimes three songs in a day. Sometimes I'll do one, sometimes I'll do five, it depends on that. And then from all of those songs, like we were just trying to find what songs will fit into this narrative that we're trying to drive with the album. So that mm. took us a while. Tegwini was one of the first ones we found. Um, and we dropped it. I mean, Tegwini dropped in 2019. Yes, um, yes. So, so that's when I saw the video. Exactly. So from, from Tegwini, then we were like, okay, cool, now we have a direction. And then I, I, I wrote all the other songs. Um, some of them were already recorded, because some of them were recorded before Tegwini in, in the album, but they, you know, they came out later. I, and then I think the last songs I wrote for it was the outro and the intro. Because then we had the body, we were like, okay, we need something to put it inside, yeah. you know, like the brackets the, and, yeah. St- yeah, and stuff like that. So I wrote the outro first, um, and then I wrote the intro, like, just before we decided to drop the album and stuff mm. like that. So, which the intro is funny enough, is the one that people like the most, God Morning. Yeah. Like, that's the, that's the last song we wrote for the project. But that's I the, messed with Fagi Mali, the beat is Fagi, hard. Oh, bro, Kenneth like, Ledger's yeah. on that one. <laughs> Kenneth Ledger's on that, that one. That beat is hard. What do you want people to take out from this project? Like, what, like if you listen to this project, what do you leave with? Like, you know what I mean? Mm, uh, yeah. Like, what do you leave with uh, hearing those bars and the musicality the music, and everything? Yeah. Um, I, I think, for me, what I try to highlight the most when I, when I make a song is, is just... I think what people can leave with is being true to themselves because what you're listening to is a guy who who's actually just speaking real life in his life mm. I'm not trying to be fancy you know what I mean I'm talking just about real Chesterville shit shit that happened in Chesterville the stuff that I still do now with with like um, with my boys but all in the realm of reality like sometimes with with hip-hop we try to make things too extravagant mm. and stuff like that or 
rappers will try to talk about extravagant things instead of actually talking about their life Experience, in a way yeah. that sounds extravagant. extravagant. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Make so your make, make your people shit want to cool. be like yo. Yeah, that's what I wanted with this album. Hood. That's what I. That, that's exactly what I want people to leave with. Especially somebody who's an artist as well. Like know that you can make music about you. Mm. It's cool to be you. Like it's cool to be whoever you are, wherever you come from. Like I, that's why I love sometimes. I'm not being a girl. Like. Mm. Those motherfuckers, dog, have made it and cool cooling. to be those Even motherfuckers. how they rock and everything. How they rock, they, they, how they believe do in everything they, they do. In the, in the culture like they and the thing they do. Like, they on TikTok. I'm like, what? These guys weren't on the internet. We got yeah. on the internet before these guys, yeah, bro. Yeah, hip-hop been here, but, but we, we like... <laughs> but these guys are doing big numbers on the internet because people gravitate towards what's reality. What's authentic, yeah, and what's yeah. real, too. Yeah, yeah it's what's authentic. Like, they can tell. They can tell. This is authentic, yeah. Like, much you do not like trying to fit in with nobody Most and like that. that's why I went with the language I went with like in terms even when I when I when I use Vanek in the album um, I use I use like it in the way that we use it in the townships you mm. know what I mean I don't use it I don't I don't rap in Zulu like Big Zulu does Big Zulu yes. does rap in the in the more rural yeah because he's more because that's, that's his that's, that's his thing at, yeah, so yeah. if I tried to emulate the same thing because I was like oh Big Zulu is doing numbers because he's rapping like this yeah now I'm coming through and I'm trying to use these it's not Big Zulu work. words <laughs> because you won't have authentic like it's not gonna sound you yeah, know, like, where you come it. from they oh can... <laughs> so you think that I did man what's happening man yeah I feel so that you don't know what's going to style what's going on I feel that um, yeah. can you before we go into the freestyle you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Um, can you just tell people where they can find your music? Most def. And yeah, where can they get you? What, whatever they need, yo. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, you can get me on socials. It's Celestial Mike everywhere. Like Instagram, Celestial Mike, one word. Um, Facebook, Celestial Mike, the Mike in the hand of God. YouTube, Celestial Mike, the Mike in the hand of God. Uh, TikTok, it's Celestial Mike H O G. There's also Twitter as well, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> but it's the same name on Twitter too. Yeah, and now uh, you can find all my music in all digital stores. Um, for now, that's where it's all gonna be. Um, in the future, when we've all come together as you know the people that listen to Celestial Mike, then we're gonna change where the music goes. But for now, all digital platforms is where you get the music. And I just shut it down, turn the lights off. <laughs> turn the lights off. No <laughs> shedding. Hey, I thought this is only a Joe Book thing, but hey, I'm another. Even I'm trying that thing. So, you still on oh, because no, it's not affecting all oh, the lights. I've just kind of. Oh, okay, okay, the light okay. Back okay. okay, so. Generator. Go to the, to the bars, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Yo. yeah. You know what time it is? You know what time it is? You know what I mean? You know what time it is? It's off the hook. 031. You know what I mean? Chilling with the MC, dope artists in the house. Hey, yo, can you do us? Let me start this beat from jump. Okay. Let's go. Yeah. Hey. Yo. Um. Celestial, astro, the wizard, astronomical, dope, mess, non communicable, pastological, rest phenomenal, get them high like eschatology. I love girls with good brain knowledge like neurology. I don't wanna talk unless we talk in numerology. Smoke to exercise my demons, self demonology. Stealing the game like I study criminology. Pit on the internet, pissing off apologists. Niggas can't compete with me cause niggas is incompetent. I talk shit with no consequences, niggas is inconsequential. The wizard of Oz, I got spells. You niggas drop bars, I drop cells. Ooh. Celestial, still underground like hot hell. And the shit I'm smoking is louder than hot smells. That's not try lad. We don't DJ with the vinyl, that's not why lad. Bunker Baba Spy, Magic Baba Spy, lad. We gon' keep it going, we gon' keep it flying high. We gon' see him by and by. We mix him, I move blind, we ain't seen eye to eye. Celestial, still the real purest kind of guy, yeah. Ooh, mm. yeah. Let me see how you keep it going. Yeah. Something in my head, bro. Yeah, you know, 031, he still got something in his head. Yo, I'm coming out like Malcolm X the Red. Yo, yeah. there you go, my man. Yeah. Not the tag weenie. I got the man for dope artists. The mic in the hand of God. You know where the mic in the hand of God is. Let's keep it going from the top. Planet like the gardens. Yeah, begging your pardon. You know that this artist is the hardest. Got the bars in. Uh, Celestio always flow. The kind of guy you should always know And if you don't, you should know it now Yo, cause you know that the flow profound All these sounds 
coming straight from the mind, straight from the dome. You know, straight to the line. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what it is, man. Check it out. It's off the hook. We're out here in Durban. Yo, man, hip hop crazy. You see, we got dope talent out here. So, yo, stay tuned because there's a whole lot of more you're going to see. This is just the beginning, man. This is the gateway to Durban. We're coming in. Stay up. Peace.